Alexis. Fiction. Cartoon Continuity Alexis. Fiction. Cartoon Continuity Voice Actor. Tabitha St. Germain. English. Akira Tomisaka. Japanese. Anka Kordemeyer. Germany. Alexis. Fiction. Cartoon Continuity. Armada When the Decepticon Turncoat Starscream joined the ranks of the Autobots, Alexis took a shine to him. However, Starscream dismissed her and the other human children, as he was only concerned with defeating Megatron. Despite this, the kids asked Starscream to bring them back a souvenir when the former Decepticon and Jetfire traveled to Mars in search of a mini-con panel. Despite his rude, lone wolf demeanor, Starscream brought back a mysterious green rock for the kids, thus earning him a place in their hearts, in particular Alexis. Mars in return for his kindness, the kids threw him a surprise party, sewing a large chamois of friendship out of several smaller rags. This touched Starscream, but he, unfortunately, abandoned the gift ten minutes later when Thrust duped him into returning to the Decepticons, ostensibly to destroy Megatron. Crack much later, she revealed to Starscream that she had fashioned a necklace that was somehow tied to his very spark, out of the rock he had procured for her. When Starscream was destroyed by Unicron, her amulet cracked symbolically, alerting her that something was very wrong. Cramp Alexis was hit hardest when Optimus Prime reported Starscream's noble death. At the time, she didn't understand why he did what he did and expressed her grief by pounding on the ship's window. However, when the Autobots and Decepticons forged their new alliance, she was comforted that Starscream's sacrifice did not go in vain and felt that he would have loved to see the day the Transformers factions joined together. Alliance Alexis. Fiction. Cartoon Continuity. Energon soon after the defeat of Unicron and the reunification of the Cybertronians under the Autobot flag, Alexis traveled to Cybertron as part of the human delegation. Cybertron City Ten years later, Alexis worked as a diplomat on behalf of the Earth Federation, usually as a liaison between the nations of Earth and the Cybertronian Autobot Decepticon Alliance. Alexis traveled to Ocean City to tell the human crew and their Cybertronian allies about the Federation's decision to declare a neutral position in the latest Transformers conflict. While Alexis now represented the interests of Earth, she still had faith in Optimus Prime. She trusted his decisions in the Energon War, just as she trusted him during the Unicron battles. Energon stars Alexis, fiction, cartoon continuity. Cybertron Alexis continued in her governmental job. By 2030, she seemingly came to work quite closely with the president in some way, given that she was the only other person present on the stage when the president appointed Colonel Franklin Earth's ambassador to Cybertron. Subsequently, Alexis, Rad, and Carlos were among the humans who bid farewell to the Autobots as they departed Earth to begin a new space bridge construction program. Beginning note. The images of Alexis, Rad, Carlos and Kicker with spectral characters from prior series did not appear in the Galaxy Force version of the show, as at the time Takara had taken the position of the show being a continuity reboot. A position they later retconned, placing it as the direct sequel to Super Link as was originally planned. Confused yet? Interestingly, the shot of Alexis on stage was in the original. Alexis, fiction, Dreamwave Comics continuity, Armada she hung out with Rad and Carlos some more. Unlike Rad, no one ever strapped her to an explosive asteroid. She was present when the Autobots, Decepticons, and Minicons left Earth to defend Cybertron from Unicron. Sometime after the conflict on Earth had ended, Alexis began to compile a comprehensive database of information on several Transformers. She was unaware that this information, which, in several cases, contradicted actual events, was planted into her mind by Overrun. More than meets the eye Alexis, fiction, Dreamwave Comics continuity, Energon in the years that followed the Transformers' departure from Earth, Alexis became an activist, traveling worldwide with other like-minded individuals to, violently, protest the misuse of Earth's natural resources. One such trip found her in Australia, protesting Alter Energy's O1 source research. Her group's protest was interrupted by a Terracon attack, from which she ended up saving the life of a young teenager named Kicker. What lies beneath twice? She also saved the life of Rad when he came to rescue her. What lies beneath, part three though Rad, now an adult, was now smitten with the equally adult Alexis, she was not happy to learn about his involvement with Alter Energy. In turn, Rad was annoyed with her drive to change the world, which meant she wouldn't be sticking around. 
Later, after a battle Ravage attacked the city and Alexis disappeared in an explosion, Rad believed her dead. When she popped up alive and okay, they hugged. The end. Note. And then Dreamwave folded. Alexis. Fiction. Panini Comics Continuity Alexis. Fiction. Panini Comics Continuity. Armada Alexis. Fiction. Panini Comics Continuity. Armada I want to tell you about the Transformers. This character article is a stub and is missing information on their fictional appearances. You can help Teletron I, the Transformers wiki by expanding it.